Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Akim Oleg, still on quadratic equation. We have another world problem that we are going to solve through the sum and product of roots. We have another question here. One of the roots of the quadratic equation is, is three times, three times. Normally, when you are solving a question of this nature, since we know that we are going to have two roots, then we can always use alpha to represent the first root and beta to represent the second root. But in a situation whereby you are comparing one root to the other, because we are given from the question that one, that one root is three times the other, that means there is a relationship between the first root and the second root. In that case, in such a situation, we have to use just one letter to represent the two of them. You can either use alpha or true, or you can use beta or true. So in this case, I can write, let the root, let the root, of the equation quadratic equation is is equal to alpha and the alpha we have that so from the question now we can now consider the given equation from the question uh, if you look at the given equation from the question we have alpha square minus into four plus p x then plus 12 is equal to zero so we are now going to compare this equation with the normal quadratic equation which is a s square plus b x plus c is equal to zero and when you compare these two equations together you will observe that our a is equal to one our b compare this and this together our b will be minus into four plus p and our c will now be equal our c will now be equal to plus 12. that is what you are going to have when you compare them then we can now go ahead with the sum of roots and the product of roots for the sum of roots we are going to have alpha plus alpha plus three alpha and that sum of root will always be minus b all over a our b is minus so we are going to have minus into minus four plus p all over one there's no point putting the denominator there because anything divided by anything divided by one will surely give us that particular thing that means we are going to have this one will give us four alpha is now equal to minus minus way b plus as in minus times minus will give us plus so we have four plus p here so from here our alpha now will now be four plus p all over four I can call this one equation one. Then we can now consider this product of roots. If we consider the product of roots, that means we are going to have alpha multiplying three alpha will now be equal to c. Our c is 12, will now be equal to c all over a. So I have c all over a, which is 12. The a is one, so the one is useless. That means one times three alpha now will now give us three alpha square is equal to 12 of which i can divide both sides by three if i divide both sides by three i have divide by three divide by three this will cancel so my alpha square now will now be equal to four and i can find the value of alpha directly so my alpha now will now be the square root of 4. And square root of 4 is a perfect square. So square root of 4 now will automatically give us 2. That means we are going to have our alpha now to be equal to plus or minus 2. 
as you whenever you find the square root of any number the answer will always be plus or minus that particular thing so from here we can get the value we need to take the values of alpha one alpha one after the other as you can see the value of alpha here is plus two or minus two so if your alpha is equal to plus two then three alpha now we now be three times two that will give us six and if your alpha is equal to minus two then the other roots we now three alpha now we now be equal to minus six so the roots are roots are two and six or minus two and minus six so it depends what these are the values of the root and we have come to the end of this particular solution because we are only house find the root of the quadratic equation and the roots are two and six or minus two and minus six so we are going to stop here for now Next time, we take it up from there. God bless you.